Hi guys, it's Carissa here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to redo a shared file from the Bitmoji Craze group and to customize it to your own personal needs. And this will include using YouTube's Safe, Safe Share um, and how to switch out the Bitmoji. Okay, thank you. I'm going to share my screen with you guys right now. And I'm going to show you, I start off here in the Bitmoji Craze for Educators group. And um, sorry, I'm getting a bunch of notifications there. Anyways, I start here and if I want to find something, I'm going to go over here to the topic tabs and I want a library. So I'm going to look in here for various libraries and see if I can find one that I like. Ooh, I do like Eric Carl. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy this document. The person who shared this file um, was so generous to do that and allow us to use something that she's already created um, in our own classrooms. So I'm just going to check this file. Oh, it already has Safe Share on it. So this file isn't going to work for me today for the tutorial. So I'm just going to close that down and open up this Dr. Seuss file that I already had open. Um, I did get that from the Bitmoji Craze for Educators group, which is right here. If you are a teacher, you can join that group. I'm one of the moderators there, moderators in that group, and um, it is a great place to get shared resources for virtual teaching. Um, it is all Bitmoji related. So right here, I see this classroom that has already been shared by someone else. And of course, I don't want to have somebody else's Bitmoji in my um, work that I'm going to share with my students. So I'm going to click that and delete it. And then I'm going to go over here to my Bitmoji. Oh, look at that. I forgot I was dressed as a unicorn, but that's fine. Um, and I like this one right here. So I'm going to insert that in. And you know what? I don't think I like that. So really quick, I am going to change my Bitmoji's clothing on my phone. Um, so I go to the Bitmoji app and I go to the fashion, the little coat hanger. And then to quickly change it, I can go to the little closet. And when I push that button, other outfits that I've worn for my Bitmoji will come up. So I'm going to click this one and hit the button save. And now when I open up my Bitmoji extension, my clothes have been changed. And these match much better for Dr. Seuss. So I like um, this one. I'm going to insert that pose into it. And I always go in and make these as small as I can until the little red lines appear. Um, because if your Bitmoji is big or any of the other images that you use in your classroom, it will um, prevent people from reaching the other um, links that you want them to reach. So I want to make sure that this has a picture, it looks like, of the original posters um, family. So I'm going to delete that because obviously I don't want to share that. And then I'm checking all the links to see what is there. 
That one doesn't have something linked. Okay, I see beautiful Dr. Seuss books, a Dr. Seuss brain break, uh, a dance, and see how this chair is difficult to reach um, the poster behind it. I'm actually gonna make resize that a little bit so that people can reach that. Okay, there's another YouTube thing. And the posters, perfect. So there are lots of links in here um, and that's great. I'm going to change my this to my name. Perfect. And then I'm going to add um, some directions. And I'm gonna make sure that this is um, in the right place that I, I want it to be. Please click on the objects and books to find fun activities and stories about Dr. Seuss. Okay, and then the original poster um, didn't have that centered, but I like how that's looking. Now, what I need to do is I noticed that these were, um, many of them, YouTube videos that um, take you straight to YouTube, the regular version of YouTube. Jack Parsons. And I'm gonna turn that volume down a little bit, but I want you guys to see this. So when we follow this link, then you have all these ads over here, um, which I don't want my kids to see. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna use something called YouTube Safe Share. Um, and how we do that is find a, um, we are going to copy, so hover, click the icon, then hover over the link, right click it, and push copy link address. Now switch to over here where I already have my safe YouTube link open. I've already been using this for some other documents. So right here in this box, it says generate your safe YouTube link. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste that other link into it and hit generate. And then this will open up a little box that I can copy the safe YouTube link into. This one is going very slow. It usually does not go that slow. So I'm gonna actually just um, stop that. And I'm gonna look for um, YouTube safe there. Right here, I'm gonna bring it up again. Okay, so that's how you find that. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna start with these books, okay? So I've gone here the to the Sneetches. By Dr. Seuss. And now the star belly I'm going to collect the link. With stars. The plain belly sneeches had none upon dogs. And then close that out and go back and see how when I go back, this is already um, highlighted and selected. I'm going to go up here to insert link. Oh, wait. <coughs> Excuse me, I almost forgot to do the safe share. I've copied the link from YouTube, so I'm gonna go over here and make my it safe by pasting it in here, hitting generate. 
and then copy. So you see, you can see that it is the Sneetches. It's the same um, YouTube video I was just on. And now in here, um, I am going to paste that link and hit apply. Now you see it's a safe YouTube. And when you click it, the kids will see this. Instead, there will be the no ads. By Dr. Seuss. And that is very helpful. Now the star belly okay, So I'm going to close that out. Um, and I'm going to go to another one. I'm hoping to find one that has the link showing because I want, oh, there we go. So this one has the link showing. And if you just right click it, copy the link address, go back to your other page, delete the old one. Oh, Close this one. Um, delete the old one that you just did. Right click again, paste, and then generate this new link. Now it's the cat in the hat. I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go back. This is still highlighted. So now I hit the insert link button, delete what was in it from before, and paste that in. So I'm gonna go through this whole thing and do that for all of the linked items that I want to keep in this um, virtual SUS classroom. This was, this will take a little bit of time, um, but it is very helpful to use the Bitmoji Craze for Educators group and all of the wonderful files that have been shared there. I do strongly suggest that you um, that you um, do find a safe way to share those videos so that they don't have all the ads and other things um, on YouTube. And then just customize the room and make it your own. When they've been shared on Bitmoji Craze for Educators, then they have been shared freely knowing that someone else is gonna use them in their classroom and, and make it their own. Um, I do want to caution, of course, always, always, always make sure that you have made a copy of it for your own self and that you do not mess with or um, edit anything in their own shared copy. Some people will share with editing rights and some people will share um, with a forced copy. So please, if you don't see that forced copy link come up, make sure that you make your own copy before you edit in somebody else's work because everybody that does these has worked hard on it. And it is very convenient and easy um, for those of us who find something that we can use in our own classroom um, to just go in and make those changes like I showed you to customize it for our own use. Um, and it's very sad when somebody has worked hard and then they go to use it and they find a different Bitmoji um, teacher in their room or a completely different room because you've you've changed things around, okay? So just be very careful about that and I hope this tutorial has helped you. Have a great night. Bye.